Hello everyone, Jude here from Tech Office Software. In our tutorial today, we shall be learning about Google Team Builder. There are two ways you can get started using the Team Builder. The first is to select slide, then at the bottom here, you see the edit team. You select it to get to the team builder or from the view menu you come to team builder and select the team builder in both cases when you click on the team builder it will open up the team builder for you you can save a lot of time for a large number of slides by using the team builder the team builder used to be called the slide master, but Google changed the name to team builder. The first slide represents the team. So once you select it, every slide in the thumbnail will be selected. So let's say we add some slides on the thumbnail. So we now have some slides on this thumbnail. We have about seven slides. Just like I said before, this is the team of the team builder. Once you select it, you will notice that all the slides on the thumbnail are selected and all those on the team builder are also selected. Any changes you make on this team slide affect all the slides. So let's say here on the title, we change the font to comic sum then we increase the font size to 33 the body will select the font to be area all of them that has any text on the body will be area and all that have headers will be comic sum when you click on the next one below the layout in this one here it will only select this very one because that is this one that have the same layout with it. If we have to change the font here, it will affect any changes we make on this very slide here will affect only this very one. So let's say we change the font to Georgia. When we type something here, it will come out Georgia. So from the team, you can change the font. You can change the font size. You just select it, click the font icon, select any font you, you like you can do all sort of formatting from the team like underlining this one we have highlighted it to underline you can just take control u to underline it and it will affect every slide that has header we can change the text color we select the text color we choose blue every slide that have header the header will be blue and then the body will be black you can use italic and we can use bold so every slide that has header will appear in this format editing the team slides or any other slide in the team builder is like editing normal slide you can just add or remove any element so we can notice this slide that have this color Let's say we want to change that color from here. We come to the slide, then we can select any other color and then it affects this very slide. So we now know that anything that affects the team slide affects all the slides. We can change the background color. We select the team builder from here. We can choose color if we want the color to be in all of them. So let's say I choose this, I choose this, then done. It has applied to all. Then let's say I want to apply background to only this one, the background, done. For us to bring pictures in, we have to put picture holder. To get picture holder, we come to image placeholder. That is what we bring up this for you. Let's say we add another image placeholder here. We want to add three image holders. 
we select what we want then we can duplicate it so we now have three we move the first one then can adjust the size so we now have three image placeholders and this will affect all the slides that are with this layout if i have a logo that i want to appear in all the slides i come to the team slide then i insert i select image i can upload from my computer which is what i'm going to do or i search from the web so let me go to the computer i select this logo here then i resize it i have resized it then i move it to the top right of the team slide and if you look it has affected all the slides we cannot delete those slides that are not necessary we are not using them so that we can focus on the other slides so for instance we are not using this it's not connected to anyone so we remove this so we have removed all the slides that are not on our thumbnail we can now manage our slides so we now come out of the team builder to our slides so let's add things to our slides we have surgery jewelries as you can see because from the team builder this is the colors we selected so that is why they are appearing on this color let's enter this then the next one we bring in pictures from the computer we select show files then we pick this picture first then the next one we pick the next picture from this place we can add any text so i have finished putting contents in the slide if we look at the content this is the first slide then the second the third the last of note is that when we come to layout from here we can select any layout we want to appear here you will notice that it is only the layout we selected within the team builder that is in the layout if you want to add more layouts here you have to go to the team builder and add more layout so we have come to the end of the tutorial today hope you enjoyed it if you do please like the video subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so click on the bell icon so that youtube will notify you once i drop a new video see you in the next video